Hey, thanks for tuning in to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eagle. Welcome to Southwestern Wyoming here. We're on the Veterans Freedom Hunt. That's a hunt that was started a few years back by our friends over at the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. It's a chance for sportsmen to give back to our men and women and who are uh, veterans of our armed forces. This year we've got five hunters from Utah, one from Evanston, all here to hunt and uh, let them uh, have a great time and let us show our appreciation for their service. Ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of a special night for us. Tonight was a big night. We had these veterans, five veterans, totally surprised, not knowing what was going to happen. We've got these gentlemen all a brand new rifle to take on the hunt. These veterans were honored guests at the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation's fall event. These five vets, including a sixth from Evanston, were outfitted with rifles from Browning, optics from Vortex, camel from Kings, and much more, all for their elk hunts in November. Thank you everybody for your support. It really means a lot. This is a wonderful event. Thank you. Unbelievable. This is, I can't believe this. I mean, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the Utah Freedom Hunt, it, it's amazing. Those guys taking care of vets like this is just amazing. And I appreciate everything that they're doing for us. I think it's been seven years ago we started this. Many were on the verge of possibly taking their lives and other serious issues and this can be a turnaround and can actually bring a change that will help these vets in the future. You know, we have our issues, you know, either back pain, body pains, mental illness or you know, PTSD or whatever, but these guys are actually trying to get out and help us come together as a crew and then also help us get back to what we love, you know, with hunters and the outdoors. The hunt is a cow elk hunt, uh, and these tags have been donated by Wyoming residents. The lodge is just south of Evanston, not too far from the Utah border. The hunt is taking place at the Queens Mountain Lodge on the Broadbent Ranch. It's got big and it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to tell these vets thanks. I don't believe they get told thanks enough. My team looks forward to this more than we look forward to actually hunting ourselves. We're going up to Sulphur Creek is where we're headed right now. We guide all year long and this is our chance to come back and take uh, to kind of give back to the vets who've done so much for us. We're hunting with guide Jared Gray and Navy vet Ted Barber. I was a missile technician on the Triton 2 D5 missile system. So basically my job was to launch nuclear weapons if called upon. How do you like the new gun? Oh, it's nice. 300 uh, wind mag, right? Yeah. Right off the bat we got, uh, we weren't 10 minutes away from the lodge and we saw a pretty good herd of, of elk. Oh, come on. There's elk right here. Oh, yeah. They're moving up around. They spooked up. They saw us coming through the trees before we saw them, so we didn't get a chance. They, they got away from us. Park right here and kind of walk this open area, see if we can't get in some elk right here. Sure enough, we got up to where we were going and we saw another pretty nice herd that was quite a ways away. They're way down at the bottom, right against the tree line right here. So be careful. A so, lot of your guides here kind of donate their time, is that right? Uh, these guys are donating their time. Um, the owner here is donating the use of the lodge and you know, we want to just be able to give back yeah. the best way we can. What do you hope these vets glean from this? If nothing else, I just want to have a good time. You know, enjoy themselves, get out hunting. Hunting is my passion and so anytime I can share it and see somebody that can enjoy it as much as I do, it gives me, it gives me pleasure. There's a road that gets us right in the bottom here. But if they get up into these trees, they're going to be too far. Worst case scenario, we come back here, set up tonight, and they'll feed back out. But I think there's going to be more. There's so many elk in here. Right there. Yep, that's a bull. Yep, there's the cows moving ahead. They're about 200 yards, so if you can get a good shot, that's a good one to take. That lead cow's a good one. Dang it, she saw us. I thought she was going to come into that clearing. Be a bunch more right here. So let's move down here. Just to hear the stories and the uh, things that they've gone through. And just last night we were sitting around the table and 
one of the vets mentioned, you know, he had been shot a few times, more than once. And yeah. he said, even now, looking back, knowing what I went through and uh, being shot at, he said, I'd do it again right now. I'd, if I knew the outcome, I'd still would have done it. Yeah. You know, and so that's pretty brave and pretty uh, courageous that they do these things for us. For the veterans that come on the Freedom Hunt, everything is paid for, from the food. I rode this mountain 70 years, I've been alive. Choked on rocks and rattlesnakes, wonder I've survived. To the entertainment, these guys get a fully guided hunt. There's a monster on the And then some. She's good looking too, so he said the, the age of her, she should be good eating. She's only a couple years old. Gus Leon is an Army and Air Force vet who flew helicopters and C 130s. <laughs> no, I got her. I nailed her like right here. Gus just retired last year and was nominated for the hunt. He bagged his cow on the first morning. I had a spike tag years ago and I got a spike. So this is my first cow. Yeah. <laughs> Cows, spikes. Yeah, it's I love elk meat, so this is awesome. I mean, these guys do a great job supporting the vets and helping guys out that have uh, disabilities, have some kind of uh, problem from the military, because there's a lot of stress that we go through. I mean, especially the guys that are on the ground. Yeah. So this is a great, great thing, and I'm I feel lucky to be here and hunt with these guys. All right, so here we are. We're uh, getting ready to head out now for the evening hunt. We had a great morning, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get it done tonight. So let's, okay. let's go out and get this done. And Ted, y'all ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's put it, it here, man. Let's do it. Let's get it. All right, we're on it. It's going to be muddy today. Good thing we're in the all-wheel drive Polaris. Make sure you go check out Stedman's and Twilla. Get your Polaris needs. Remember, we're looking for trophy cows. Closer to the road, the better. In fact, what's that right there? There's a little bull over there. And Jared has given Ted a full look at the ranch's animals, from a moose to this big buck. Fun to see, huh? That's a good buck. It's good deer country here. Too bad that we don't have the right the tag for that one, huh? But so far, the elk are pretty spooked. The night ends with no elk for Ted but the camaraderie and the fun is just beginning. Paul got one, Frank got one with Ken. Nice. It's exciting. Woohoo! Did, huh? Did Brian? Did Brian? Yeah, yeah Brian. Look at the size of that one. Oh, wow. Big old cow. You know, I was having a blast this morning, and, and to be able to walk out and, and shoot one right off, I mean, that was great. I loved it. Loved every minute of it. Four of the six veterans have bagged an elk. It's time for Ted, Jared, and I to step up our game. Maybe we can catch up. Get ready. Get ready. I'll try to stop one. Jared has taken us to the other side of the ranch, right into a huge herd of elk. That is not a good sign. The cow knows we're here and has given us an alarm bark. Our chances are slim, but we're not giving up. She just stopped. Yeah, that's a cow. There's a couple of them. We got down in here and the elk started barking at us. We were about 130 yards away, just milling through the trees. They just kept barking. We stopped him a few times, but man, it's just so thick, it was hard to get a shot, so. That all hard. Dang it. Man, they all ran up there. Couldn't stop them. That afternoon, the guys decided to hike back into Sulphur Creek to the area where we spotted the big herd on the opening morning. I had a prior engagement, so Jared is behind the camera as Brian Another guide teams up with Jared to guide Ted. Man, we were just walking up through the meadow right here. We had kind of a plan to get up here. and I was in the lead. I turned around and I said, hey, there's one right there. Off to our right, and she was just walking, had no idea we were there, about 140 yards away. 
and uh, Brian was packing the sticks. He jumped up in the in the spot. Sure enough, she stopped just perfect spot. Good shot. <laughs> nice. That was easy. Oh, nice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh, Brian, thanks for making the walk, man. Nice job. Boy, how about that? Walking up, there's just one single. Hey, I'm like, she's right, right there. Yeah. Good around, yeah, that's nice. Thanks, Brian. Hey, you bet. No. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, it does. Way to go. Good job, Mr. Gray. See, all because Adam's not here. That's what it was. <laughs> that's exactly. Yeah. Who's your good luck charm now? Oh, Freedom Hunt's awesome. It's a great organization. This weekend's been awesome with R and K and Freedom Hunt and just you know getting back out and back out in the woods. It's been years, but getting back in the the mentality of hunters and safety and just back out in the woods period being back out with people sweet good. congratulations and thank you for everything you've done yeah. as a vet for the rest of us to enjoy our freedom so we appreciate everything that you've done congratulations thanks again jared a big thanks to all the vets for their sacrifice and to the guys who made this hunt possible Most of these guys are RMEF guys, old RMEF guys that just keep Good this freedom job. hunt going. All of them are, every single one at them, and, and it's expanded beyond that. Now we've got these great sponsors. Yeah. You know, Browning, King's Camo. You couldn't do it without them. Vortex, yeah, couldn't do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it without them. Hey, big thanks to all the sponsors, all the guides, R&K, hunting, outfitting that helps put this on. This is an awesome event. If you have a vet or a friend that needs something like this, get in contact with the guys. They'd love to have you up. I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.